Hi there and welcome back. Let's see how we can create something like these rocky environments in Maya with the help of Bifrost and a few extra resources. So I started by creating a platonic solid and gave it one division. Then under effects I used the shatter feature to break the object into pieces that can be used as a base for the rocks. You'll have to give it a try or two to get rock-like shapes. So these are my initial shapes, I picked 5 different pieces to work with. The first step is to drag the pieces to a new Bifrost graph at the same time, so they merge into one node. I have a for each loop as the main component of this setup, so we can iterate over all the different variations of the rocks. So inside the loop I'm starting by laying out the rocks in a vertical setup, just for visualization purpose. The top part is where I'm applying a random scale to each piece, with the random value node. The bottom part is for the spacing of the rocks, laying them out in a vertical way. In order to apply the scale and translation you will need the SRT2 matrix and finally a transform points node. As covered in the recent videos I am using a mesh to volume to apply some noises and most of all to get a smooth mesh out of it, as our current mesh is a bit messy. Then a volume to mesh, as you can see we get a better shape of overall, more smooth as I wanted. I found that enabling the star level set attribute gave me a better result, otherwise we get jagged geometry. Right here I'm applying a fractal with the displace points nodes, just to change the shape a bit. And for the second noise, just a small scale fractal to give it some detail. Finally, you want to connect the for each loop to the output. The next step is to convert the Bifrost Geo to a Maya mesh, as covered in the last video, using the Bifrost Geo to Maya node. Then you can duplicate the converted mesh, so you can keep some history in the, in the original one. And also reset the transforms and center the pivot, so you have no issues with the scattering. So in a new graph, drag the new meshes and let's see the simple setup for the rocky surface. This is the result for the front part. And as you can see, I can manipulate the scattering surface and, ev and everything updates. We have a scatter points node that will distribute the objects along a given surface. Then a randomized scale and rotation to have some variety. At the end there's the create instances nodes and then we bake them. Same setup for the middle ground rocks, this time changing a bit the overall scale. Identical approach to the background rocks, just change the scattering surface. Right here I am just converting the geometry to a volume, so I can get a general shape to grow the vines. These won't be rendered. As you can see, I have used that merged mesh as a base for the vines. Let's see how we can create them using the Maya Lab plugin, which is free. So the first step is, in this case is to separate the mesh, as it doesn't work so well in combined meshes. Then I found that it would work better with a scale around 1 meter, as suggested by the developer. Let's start by creating the ivy. You can play around with the random seed at the top. Next you may want to increase the root count so you have more growth. Add some sub-branches. And finally enable the leaves. You can change the leaf count and add the random scale to them. For the UVs I found that you need to enable this Pequillo checkbox in order to properly create the UVs. And you can always save your settings as a preset for future use. 
you can either do this in the main scene or export from an external scene as I am doing. So this is the final scene where I separated the geometry to get some variation with the color jitter nodes, more on that in a bit. I created also a render camera. Now the shading setup. The branches and roots have just a diffuse texture, nothing special. The leaves I downloaded some texture from Megascans and using them with an opacity mask. There's also a roughness and normal texture associated. For the base color I am adding a small color correction along with a color jitter to randomize the U. You can see in the render the effect of the U shift. For the water surface is just a deep water preset with a noise in the bump. In the background I have a plane with this blurred texture. Now for the rocks I have a mixed material with a rock-like texture and a second one for the moss on top. The first one is just a mega scan surface. And here I am attaching a color jitter nodes that outputs values between a certain range to control the gamma of the albedo, so I can have some value change between rocks. You can always add another color jitter node to change the color slightly, but in this case it's not doing much. Then we have a moss surface from Megascans. For the mix attributes I am using the normal camera Y components to create a snow-like shader along with the noise to break the effect. For the lighting it's just a dome light with an HGRI, nothing sp special about it. And that's it, the final image. This is not a perfect setup or even result, but I hope you can take something out of this for your next project. I just want to say thanks for the people who helped me with the for loop setup in the Bifrost Discord, as I was missing some nodes. Thanks a lot for the feedback in the last video and I hope to see you in the next time. Bye bye.